What's up guys, welcome to Throttle Tube. But today's topic, we're going over the most fundamental skill when it comes to handling your motorcycle, and that is counter steering. Many beginners find this very complicated, but I'm gonna jump out on the road with you and show you how to use it, why you use it, and why it's not that complicated to know. Let's do it. Before we jump out on the road, I just quickly wanna say thank you to everyone who subscribed lately, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you like and subscribe. It means the world to me, and it's kind of like a circle of help because it helps me to help you to help newbies with these little tips. Anyway, let's jump out on the road and talk about counter steering. Right team, let's not blue ball the situation. Let's get straight into it. What is counter steering? Essentially, counter steering is turning the opposite way in which you want to turn. Basically, when you turn a motorcycle, as you turn the handlebars to one side, it's gonna to wanna to tip into that side because you've taken away its base. Naturally, as I go around the corner, if I'm gonna to go to the right, I'm gonna push my steering the opposite way. So I'm actually gonna push that right handlebar away from me. And obviously, if I'm going to the left, it's the opposite. I'm pushing my left side away from me. So we've got this left turn coming up here. I'm essentially pushing this one away. And as I push it, it tips the bike over. And what you want to do is lean with the bike. Now, if you add a lean to it, it's going to emphasize what you're doing. And that's why you see people leaning around corners. So I go, as I go around this right hand, I push this handlebar away from me, turns the bike to the right. You've got to think of it like a gyroscope. Motorcycles like to stand up when they're moving. The faster they get, the harder they are to turn, which means the more you have to really emphasize pushing on those handlebars. And if you're a beginner rider and you get into a panic situation, you will tend to freeze and lock your arms, when the best thing you want to do is relax and just push the handlebar one side or the other. Now you could do this all day if you like, and I definitely, definitely recommend you get out on the road and practice pushing, 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 pushing because that's essentially going to build the muscle memory for when a freak accident happens in front of you which if I try to turn this way I'm going to go the opposite now that's how a lot of people get into the accidents so that's why practice 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 is always 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 going to be your best friend so that's pretty much the gist of what counter steering is and you just need to practice 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 to make it muscle memory because nine times out of ten when you're riding you don't really think about this you just do it naturally like if you go around the corner you just look and you just do it that's really close to that water as well isn't it Look at all the flooding, crazy. But as you can see with confidence, you get a lot easier at handling the bike. It just becomes second nature to you. Now don't confuse that with overconfidence, that's a whole nother topic. And that ties into why people say, don't go out and buy a big bike for your first bike. Because if you overcook or undercook this basic point here, you're gonna end up going straight into that bush in front of us, or you're gonna overcook and go that way or wash out. And trust me, your tires can take a lot more than you think. Just push that steering and look to where you're going. And I almost guarantee you nine times out of 10, it will make it around that corner. You've just got to trust that sweet science of counter steering and it will never let you down. So what happens if you get it wrong? Basically, as I, as I hinted at earlier, if you don't put enough emphasis on turning around the corner or too much, that's pretty much where you can have a bad day. So it's very easy to push too hard on your handlebar and not lean with the bike and the bike will tip underneath you as it is with me right now. Now you can, in theory, out lean it and stay in a straight line. So as I tilt the bike to the right and carry on on a straight line, that's how a lot of people have accidents. So a prime example when people are pushing the pace or you look at racing, that's a very good example. When they're leaning over the handlebar and they're really emphasizing that turn, they're just pushing that handlebar away and they're locking it in and using their weight their body their inertia to tighten it as much as they can but essentially you need to get into the habit of doing that on a micro scale so for example this little sweep and turn here i'm pushing and i'm leaning slightly over the handlebar with it i'm not over exaggerating it because then it will over exaggerate my turn it's very easy to get a feel for this and before you know it it'll be second nature and you'll be riding around thinking about other things rather than how am i going to make this turn will i make it round etc etc so I think it's a nice short video that you don't need to drag out to be honest. Counter steering is very simple but also very complicated if you overthink it. Now like most things with bikes, it's a feel and do situation. Don't overthink it because that's when you get into accidents. As they say, analysis paralysis will kill you. And I can attest when I was a beginner there were times I would overthink things. 
and always get myself into sticky situations because experience brings confidence as I said earlier and no amount of money can buy experience. So I think that pretty much wraps up what counter steering is and it doesn't make the video too long. If you want to know anything a bit more just ask in the comments and you want me to cover any other topics just let me know I'm more than happy to do so. As I said at the beginning please comment like subscribe because it helps me to help you and it's an awesome little return on investment because I get to put some videos out and it gets to help somebody out there. Anyway, I'm going to go get some gas because this tuned bike chews for a gas. And don't forget, there's no substitute for practice. Peace.